I'm, I'm gonna pull out one of those um, after after we go through just okay, talking about some of these strengths. Um, so, if there's any strength in you, what would be something that you've noticed? This is hard. <laughs> um, you got this. I would use before all of this. I would have said being strong, mm -hmm. but now I see it off, kind of opposite. Like I've been strong for so long that, so saying a strength now, I, I maybe sad, but I don't, I can't think of okay. anything. Okay, so when you say being strong, what does that mean to you? Like being able to handle everything. Okay. And just move on from it, but I wasn't moving on from it. I was just burying it. Okay. And so you said that's something you would have said before. Mm -hmm. And so now, how do you feel about you being able to be strong? Um, I think I'm trying to learn a different way of being strong, and not how I used to do it, where I was just. Everything's fine, nothing's wrong, tuck it away. And now I'm trying to view it a little differently because now being strong is being able to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. And that's where I'm trying to yeah. get to and understand that um, tucking it away doesn't fix anything. Absolutely. Um, and I think we we talked a little bit about that before. Yeah. And so now your new view of strength is being uh, able to being able to be vulnerable yeah. is what you said. Mm -hmm. And that's that that's really um, one of the keys to being able to work through mm -hmm. the issues that have for so long impacted you and kind of like, you know, uh, narrate the life that you've lived. Um but it's uh, it can be an awesome awakening, um, just coming from the point of because you like got this spectrum that Jay Long and you go to like all the way over here and you're saying okay, this is where I should be yeah. and let's get there, <laughs> and so that's a great that's a great thing, um, and that's not to say that uh, you know for everything um, that you feel a tear well up you're gonna go ahead and let it go yeah no. <laughs> but it's absolutely saying that you know. If I don't have it all together, then okay. that's okay. Mm -hmm. That's okay. Mm -hmm. So that's beautiful. I like how you um, like just said that. Um, so I would say, um, you know, just from talking to you, um, uh, because whenever you initially came in, you just said, you know, I have had uh, these struggles, which is anger. Mm -hmm for so long and I'm tired of being like this. I feel like a ticking time bomb and yes. I'm scared of going off again. I don't wanna go off. Yeah. And um and that took you being vulnerable. Mm -hmm. For you to come in and say that to a perfect stranger. Yeah. Well, I think we talked a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> but, but that takes an amazing amount of courage for you to just be willing to share that with someone. Um, and then you also just told me about, um, I think in our last session, you just mentioned that, you know, whenever I'm having those down days and no one's around, I could pick up a bottle mm -hmm. or two. And, you know, yeah. that's what I've used to kind of cope with sometimes. And that's not weakness mm -hmm. for you to share those type of things with someone whenever it's, it's in a place where it's like, I've been hiding it for this long. Mm -hmm. <laughs> But you, I mean, you show so much strength in doing that because you're at a place in life where it's like, you know what, I could be stronger. So I would definitely say that you are strong. And that's, and that's one of the first strengths I could pick out um, for you just coming in. Um, Never thought of it that way. <laughs> so um, while we are in transition and um, you are um, going through a transforming stage mm -hmm. in your life um you've already met some of the marks because you're on the journey mm -hmm. does that make sense yeah. it's not just a here and there it's mm -hmm. a journey 
and um, I think we can um, we can learn to appreciate the journey um, and be able to count every every moment of progress. And I think it's, I haven't. I mean, it's been two weeks since we've been able because I got really sick and then the storm. Yeah. And over the last two weeks, I would say I've really been like the whole Montana uh-huh. thing. Yeah. I did use that, and it does help. Like I'll just. I'll just think about that place and um, it helps and but then there's just some days where nothing works yeah Um, I I had one of those days um, Tuesday and yesterday Mm -hmm. and it's just you can't I can't get past it Um, Mm -hmm. I don't know why Mm -hmm. I'm not sleeping uh, lately Um, okay okay so you've been having do you when you say I'm not sleeping does it mean you're not falling asleep or do you fall asleep and wake up or you know how is it that place where you're asleep but you're not fully asleep mm-hmm. and that's where I'm at and if I am asleep I'm having the craziest dreams <laughs> okay just I don't know where this is coming from and like kind of like what you said I'm all of a sudden in my life becoming or being letting myself be vulnerable mm-hmm. and I feel like because of that so it, like all, I don't yeah. know how to handle a lot yeah. of the way I feel because I'm a lot of days making myself acknowledge mm-hmm. it's instead of ignoring it I'm acknowledging what's going on right. and how I feel and why am I thinking like these crazy things and I feel like my body is just in a freak out mode right now <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> that's, that's how I feel I don't know what's going on and I hope it passes um and I think um that's absolutely a part of the, the journey mm-hmm. um because you're right you um you also have this ability to be to be very self self-aware mm-hmm. even though you kind of take in a coping approach to your trauma at um, where you kind of separate yourself from the um, the emotion mm-hmm. um, but you have this uh, um, great awareness of just like what is going through your head mm-hmm. and where you are and so with that um, the, just the way that you summed it up well, I think it's pretty perfect because it is like this rush of yeah. a whole lot of new ideas like that feelings that I ignored for so long <laughs> <laughs> and it is gonna be like this. It, it will be like this mm-hmm. this rush and sometimes like a whirlwind of like Whew, where what is all of this mm-hmm. um but in those moments um you can learn different um different coping mechanisms to try to to help you just calm down and be okay mm-hmm. with that moment because you're right it is going to pass mm-hmm. it is going to pass but uh, if you don't work with it and you don't deal with it it kind of won't it, it stays it'll, around it, it'll, it it'll, it'll hang out yeah. and, and hover yeah. and wait and um you know um you know as believers we um we have to realize that you know there's more to us just than just the hearing here and now, mm-hmm. there is the, the spiritual realm that we also operate in. Um, we have with us at all times the mind, the body, and the spirit. Mm-hmm. And so, uh, whenever I talked about self care earlier, like um, we're we need to care for ourselves, for our minds, our bodies, and our spirits. And so, when you leave one hanging, guess what? Mm-hmm. It's gonna suffer, and it makes the whole body suffer. Um, there are scriptures, um, I don't know if you're familiar with, um, where they talk about, you know, um, the eye having a specific job, and if it wasn't an eye, what would it do? And if the toe wasn't a toe, what would it do? And yeah. would it not, would the, would the body not be a body if, <laughs> if it didn't have all those things? Yeah. And so, um. You know, it kind of really speaks to um, 
the body of Christ, which mm -hmm. is all the many members, you know, if one member suffers, then the whole body is going to feel that pain, mm -hmm. whether we pay attention to it or not. And so I like to apply that to just our human, the, the, mm -hmm. <laughs> our makeup, our biology, you know, if your toe gets stubbed, do you not feel it in every part of your body? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yes, and you have choice words for it too. Oh yeah, oh yeah. <laughs> and so, um, in the same, if if an eye or nose, if I get a cold, you know, it's gonna affect yeah. kind of everything. And so, um, when we recognize that, like, hello, we have these other parts of our being mm -hmm. that also need to be nurtured, our spirit and our minds. Hmm. What do we do? to nurture those things and so um it's it sounds like to me you know for like you said for so many years you just like packed it away yeah like, so i'm not gonna not think gonna about that we're gonna move on um never have to do something else yeah. um, <laughs> that well sometimes that's not the best sometimes that helps you just get through the moment yeah. but for a long term that's not the most healthy way mm -hmm. to process you know our mental or spiritual needs or physical mm -hmm. either you know, to yeah. just ignore it um so what are some things um that you think you could implement to kind of like help train your brain or help your brain mm -hmm. to to um be in a more healthy place it's so crazy to me how every time i come here my husband murphy like it's Y'all are always on the same, <laughs> like, the conversation me and you just, that everything you just told me, me and him had that conversation last night. And it, every time, wow. it's like y'all always say the same things. And I, the, every time I'm just sitting there, I'm like, they have to talk. They know each other. <laughs> Something's going on. Because he's, you know, he keeps saying, just just take care of yourself do something for yourself figure out what makes you happy mm -hmm. take care of yourself and the whole time I'm just like I don't know what to do like wow. I've taken care of my sister growing up taking care of my mom growing up I take care of you I take care of the dogs like I don't know how to I don't know how to take care of myself yeah. because I never even thought about it and yesterday I would say taking care of, mm -hmm. I guess it's taking care of myself, but, um, I went to, oh, well, I'll slow down. when I lived here, before we moved off when he joined the military, I used to go to Westgate a lot, mm -hmm. and I would run that, and yesterday, for the first time in years, because for some reason in my head, I stopped going, because I psyched myself out that okay. I was going to get kidnapped or something, oh, you know, okay. like, I was... It was going to be terrible if oh. I went out there. So I went out there yesterday for the first time, and I ran it. Okay. And it was amazing. Because, to be honest, I wanted to just, I wanted to drink. Okay. And I was like, oh, it'll be just be casual, and just one or two, it'll be fine, because I'm, I'm better now. I can control it. Yeah. Last time I said that, didn't. Yeah. <laughs> didn't yeah. work. So I went... And I ran at Westgate, and I've in those it was three miles, and I don't know how I did it, but I did. But during that time, I felt like myself, mm -hmm. and it was good. Uh, I really enjoyed it. And when it was over, I was kind of like, right now, what? Mm -hmm. You know, I felt good. I was on that runner's high, yeah. but then I was like, well, what am I gonna do now? Yeah. And I didn't go home until Murphy got home because I was in. A weird headspace and I felt good in that moment but I didn't know what to do after okay so uh, okay I started it but I don't know what to do after it's over <laughs> okay okay well um I've heard recently someone said it like this the next good thing mm -hmm. do the next good thing mm -hmm. and so um I'm so glad that you took that step to yeah. you know make and you and I mean that was strategic mm -hmm. for you to say, okay, I could just I do this. Think about it, yeah. yeah, you had to make that choice, mm -hmm. and that shows strength right there. Mm -hmm. Again, that you know, 
I, you could have easily said, I'll just take, I'll just drink a couple. Mm -hmm. But you made a choice to do something healthier yeah. and something different and something that you once found joy and peace mm -hmm. in doing. And, and then you had that awesome feeling. Yeah. And after it was over, you're like, okay. Way well. better than drinking too much. <laughs> right. Way better. And so um, sometimes... Uh, you know, you do the thing that's going mm -hmm. to distract you and, and keep you safe for yeah. the moment, but it's, it runs out, and then it's like, what? What now? Mm -hmm. And so that's why we have to have more things for you to do mm -hmm. so that you can stay away from the things that harm you. Yeah. Um, um, do you like music? Yeah, I listen to a lot of music. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. okay. Um, so... Running is one. Mm -hmm. That's one thing that takes care of you. Mm -hmm. um, why did I start writing that stuff? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm just going to say what takes care of you. Running. Um, can you... Ch just try to think about whenever you're in that moment while you're running. Mm -hmm. What do you? What usually is going through your head, or is there anything? I think that's why I like it so much because there's not really mm -hmm. like I'm just focused on what I'm doing in that moment. I'm not focused on anything okay. else except me in that moment, and that's how. Because growing up, um, I was active. Like okay. I was. Softball player, ROTC, just play sports all the time. Just and okay. I never thought of it, but that was like my thing that made me happy. Yeah. And over the last four years, no, not four years, three years, um, I haven't done that okay. like I used to and be as active. And I was thinking about it yesterday. The whole reason I went running is because I was studying and while I'm studying I'm usually thinking about four other things like <laughs> I'm <laughs> doing all these things at once and yeah. I was thinking I don't move a lot anymore mm -hmm. I don't I sit the majority of the time because of classes and studying and homework and mm -hmm. I'm just not moving yeah and I notice on the days that I'm not moving around a lot is when I start getting in my own head. Okay. So that's yesterday I was just like, I'm just gonna try and just see if that helps and and it did. Three miles? That's pretty good after I was dead a, after but a really long <laughs> <laughs> well, I, but you oops. might still be scraping me off of whatever <laughs> <laughs> I it was bad, but I did it and I think my fear for I don't know why I created that fear in my head mm -hmm. of something happening to me but like the world is getting rougher mm -hmm. as each year goes so I think that's just what and then when he was in the military like you're always just yeah. looking around and waiting for the next bad thing to happen and I think that just carried on with right. me right so Mm -hmm. And you know, you know that it, that actually is a very common thing that happens with people, um, and it's because of we're exposed to so many, so many yeah. different negatives. Yeah, like it's all over the place. Yeah. So watch the news if you dare. <laughs> I usually don't. <laughs> it's it's pretty it's pretty bad. Mm -hmm. um, but we forget to recognize the good that's out there yeah. um, because it's not black all over the place. It's not that interesting. Yeah. You know, the the kid that held the door for the yeah. old lady that it's it's not as interesting. You know, or the ones or people that rescue mm -hmm. people from devastation. Like yeah. you don't hear about that stuff yeah. as much. Um, they might have a quick snippet and follow by. All of this happens. However many <laughs> people that just got shot. You yeah. know, it's just, <laughs> that's, yeah. that's our news. Um, 
And so, so often, if we're not very intentional about filling up on the good, yeah. then all the negative is going to come in. It can take over. Um, and so I want, to, I want you to um, think about just, uh, you know, whenever you say you kind of formulated this fear mm -hmm. and you don't know where it came from, perhaps from, you know, just hearing about yeah. all the bad things that come in the world, I want you to think about, you know, what would my Savior have me to think mm -hmm. about? You know, where can I go in Him to find peace? Mm -hmm. What does the Word say about fear and joy and hope? Can we have hope? Yes. I think we grapple yeah. with that one a little bit. <laughs> yes.